hi guys I'm just gonna do a very short a reactionary video a clip on Ciara and her husband Russell and it was just so exciting it's, it's just beautiful that's a testimony of what prayer can do you can literally see that's a testimony a perfect testimony of what a prayer can do and prayer would do and so a couple of things that they said about um about their prayer life first lala was asking what was a prayer what was a prayer and sierra was like no and that's what people get wrong she prayed many times and they prayed it together that's a testimony like when you want something when you need something when you're believing for something get someone to pray with two people there is power in unity there is power in getting together and praying for something that you are living for for something that you you're wanting remember in the in the bible in the word of god where they god said now these people there's some people who got together and they were building a, like skyscrapers they wanted to go to build it to go to heaven whether that is spiritual or in a natural sense but god said god said that you know when these people because of what they have decided there's nothing that's gonna stop them when you decide something and you get someone to agree with you there is power in that unity there is power in that prayer and so you can you don't have to have like a physical person you can just you and the word of god you and god can be together and you can unite and pray for that something that one thing that you are wanting and you're believing for and god was gonna answer that prayer and so the other thing is that that she said she had to end vision she had to have a particular vision of what she wanted she was praying for um, uh, marriage of course she was praying for marriage of course so she got very specific and that is what I'm talking about I talked about this in my experimental video I, I, I'll link it somewhere around this video that whatever you need you can you can decide to cut short your like you can you can pray in such a way that it's gonna take you a long time or you can pray in such a way that it's gonna make things a little bit easier for you so when you have a picture in your mind of what you're desiring that is what the vision is talking about what she's talking about that's the vision she had in mind what she what her end goal was what she wanted she put in you know she had a clear picture of what she desired and that is the power of prayer the, the, the prayer is about the heart it's about the heart your mind and soul and putting it in alignment so when you're praying and in your mind you have completely something different and you're praying one thing and your mind is going a different direction i'm telling you that's gonna take you a long time to figure out or that's gonna take you a long time to realize oh my god get aligned uh, you need to get aligned with what whatever you're asking for and the other thing is that she said that she was speaking it many people talk and talk and talk and talk but they're not saying the right thing speak the right thing put in prayer whatever you've 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 decided you want to pray about whatever you've decided you want to uh you would like to have in your ma in your heart in your in 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 your life literally put start speaking it start saying it aloud start speaking it speak it to your friends speak it to your neighbors say it aloud to people you have confidence in telling you don't have to say it to human beings actually you can talk. go talk to the plants go talk to go talk to the ears and the birds go talk to your animals as long as you're speaking it because sometimes there is a wisdom in silence there is a wisdom in not saying like your dreams sometimes they say like you you're gonna jinx it when you say something so there is there is 
there is a wisdom in not sharing your dreams to the wrong people so if you're gonna speak something if you're gonna say something say it to people you have confidence in people you pray with people you you trust your mentors uh, people your best friend people you have a relationship with people who are gonna celebrate you those are the people that you talk to but if you don't have those people around you do not be discouraged because the creation testifies of God's goodness creations testify of God's love creation has its voice its own voice so you can align your voice and you can go out and allow and unify with creation to testify and speak of the things that you want to see in your life that is good news for someone that is good news for someone who has who's been broken has broken friendships and relationships and cannot trust anyone there's so many people whose their heart is so broken that they're not able to trust anyone but the creation 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 is creation. It has a beautiful voice and sound. So align yourself even with creation. And not even forget, the word of God says that if no one praises God, the Lord himself can raise up stones to praise him. So that means that stones, solid things have a voice and they can have a voice that is amplified. So align yourself. So I say that. I spoke that for way too long. And then Russell jumped in, of course, and said that he also prayed. He also prayed. And his formula for prayer was completely different from Sierra's formula of prayer. And his kind of prayer was to write down the non-negotiables, things that he didn't the things that he for sure wanted and would not compromise on and he wrote those things down like he wanted a woman of faith he wanted a woman uh, that is independent he wanted a woman who when she walked in the room she can turn you know she's a center like she's so attractive she is it and he got that he got that and he prayed what's the importance of prayer why don't people just say oh visualize meditate and that's it no prayer is so important because you're communicating to your maker to your creator that's a powerful force to come together with that's power in itself that's love god himself he puts that desire in your heart and so when you decide that you're gonna partner with him and you're gonna communicate with him to bring this thing to fruition he's not forcing you he's a gentleman he's not um dictating you what uh that this is how and this is da da da, da. this is how one that uh, want things to be god is not dictating on you he's given you the free will he's given you the free will to choose him to choose to walk with him to choose to talk to him to choose to communicate with him so that the desires of your heart that he put in your heart can come to pass i hope that gives you insight it gives you insight into prayer it gives you insight into loving to pray and if you're not uh, the kind of person who prays i uh, i encourage you to get into the habit of prayer and praying and so that you can have those things so it can be a process whereby you're uniting with your heavenly father to make those things come to you i'll see you in my next video if you like this give us a thumbs up and please share and Tell me who should I? Yeah, I'll see you. Thank you.